Hello there, I'm Robin Lee Hall, I'm an artist, uh, and in this session we're going to have a look at how to draw a very simple mouth. I'm going to be using images from the BP Portrait Award 2020, you can see examples on the left hand side of the screen. I'm going to be using an Apple Pencil, an iPad Pro and the Procreate app. If you'd like to join me with pencil and paper, I've got instructions at the bottom of the screen. Now I'm going to show you something. What I've done is I've put lines on all our examples to show you that really the lips tend to be on the whole at a slant. Very rarely do you see somebody full face and it's a straight line, especially in portraits. Artists tend to like three quarter views. So this is the reason why I've, I've put, put down already those, those structure lines. So let's get rid of that for a minute. And I'm going to work from the top image, which is called Joel Brooklyn Summer 2019 by Gonzalo Orquin. Uh, and he's a wonderful subject to do. And I'm going to start off with the bow of the lips and then come down in a big sweep, a bit like a wave, a real big sweep like that. And the other side as well. But obviously it's for shortened, so I'm seeing less of that side of the face. So it'll be less of a sweep. And then have a go at the fullness of those lips. So he's got very round, full lips. Just look at the shape, wonderful sort of shape. Try and get that shape. I'm not pressing too hard. I'm actually drawing very, very lightly. And then I'm going to actually draw where the lips meet because I'm not necessarily always a straight line. If you look in the case of Joel, you can see the lips where they meet almost mimic the bow. So I'm going to draw that, that in there like that. Okay, now I'm going to get rid of my structure lines because I'm finding them a bit distracting now. They've just kind of serve their purpose. So I'm going to get rid of those lines like that, including the ones for the middle. Okay, so now I've got a basic outline of a mouth and I'm going to put some tone on there. So when you're doing tone you don't want to go too dark too soon because even though there are some dark parts on this mouth you want to kind of feel your way around and work out where they are first and put some a smattering of tone in. Now most of the time with mouths the upper lip will be in shadow, the lower lip will have light because usually light's coming from above. So you'll see that he has got quite a lot of light on his lower lip, like that. The light is coming high right. I imagine it's sunlight, it looked like sunlight in the painting. So you've got a strong dark patch underneath and then you've got some dark on the top. You've also got, because the center of the lower lips sort of protrude out slightly, you've got a little bit of shadow on the left-hand side of the lower lip. You've got a little bit of shadow on the right-hand side as well. Okay, so now I've got my smattering of shadow. I'm gonna start making things a bit darker. So I'm gonna go in really quite dark where the lips actually meet. Another thing is try and get some darks at the corners of the upper lip as well, like that. I want to get rid of some of that. I should have got rid of that earlier, get rid of that. Just get some sort of lovely darks in there. Um, this particular sitter has got almost an outline to his upper lip, hasn't he? So I'm gonna get some shadow there. And also with lips, you do get sort of sometimes little creases like that. Okay. And then a key thing in portraiture, the mouth really makes a lot of difference to the whole atmosphere of a portrait. And often portrait artists will put a little bit of a suggestion of a smile. It's a bit of a cliche, but I'd even say a, a Mona Lisa type smile at the corners, just to show a little bit of a suggestion of a, a smile there, like that. And 
you know what there's a little bit of reflected light coming from the lower lip so you might get a little bit of light just above I'm going to say here okay get a little bit of light there and then some shadow there I'm going to make that a little bit darker still and come around like that and if I had more time I'd spend quite a bit of time getting this tone right but I've got limited time today so I'm going to get a little bit more shadow around there Describe that part of the mouth. So that's a sort of a very basic mouth. Um, I'm hoping that it's helped you a little bit. Um, thank you very much.